California Governor Gavin Newsom has announced that all cars sold in California must be electric by 2035. In completely unrelated news, California officials called on all residents to stop charging electric cars due to an insufficient power grid. That's worse timing than having a fancy dinner at the French Laundry in the middle of a lockdown that you mandated. Across the state, people are scrambling to charge the electric cars they now have, some using gas-powered generators, and some using the power of imagination. Here are some renders of what scientists think California will look like by 2035. And now our woman on the street interviewer goes to an interview with a woman on the street. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm 100% for green energy. I love that my electric car runs completely on renewable energy. Doesn't it run on electricity that comes from coal plants? Well, just until the power plants convert, I think. What about the environmental destruction that comes from mining the lithium? Not to mention the environmental destruction that comes from disposing of the thousand pound batteries that need to be replaced every 15 years. Well, I don't know about that Lotharium stuff, but I got a coexist sticker on it. For more, we go to Sacramento, where Governor Gavin Newsom is holding a press conference discussing the electric car mandate and his administration's response to the power crisis. Individuals, the state, industries, business, all doing their part to help reduce strain on the grid. Hey, who turned off the lights? Yeah, it's darker than Justin Trudeau's makeup kit in here. Meanwhile, auto manufacturers are scrambling to make cars that will meet the state standards by the 2035 deadline. Toyota has announced its new wind-up model of the popular Yaris. Just give it a few twists, hop in, and away she goes. With a range of up to 10 feet, the wind-up Yaris is a promising option for people who need to get from one side of the parking lot to the other. Chevrolet is taking a different approach, with the 2023 horse and buggy debuting next year. This little beauty boasts both a one and two horsepower model, depending on how many horses you have. Its advanced eco-friendly technology allows the car to be powered entirely by carrot. And last but not least, Ford Motor Company isn't being left in the dust. With rumors of a new concept car they're currently keeping under wraps. But we managed to obtain some undercover footage from the test track of the secret car codenamed Project Bedrock. Hey! 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 California is sticking to its guns and insisting that the grid will be ready by 2035. In the meantime, the state has recommended citizens with electric cars run on a giant hamster wheel to charge them. Reporting from our studio in Los Angeles, I'm... Ah, oh, great. Not again. Has anyone got a flashlight? <laughs> Cell phone? Jar of fireflies? No one? All right, I guess I'll just go home. Hi, Justin Trudeau here. I am so sorry you had to see that. Their videos are problematic, eh? Whatever you do, don't like, subscribe, or comment. It just encourages them, eh? Uh, these guys joke about things you shouldn't be joking about. And quite frankly, and pardon my French-Canadian, they're real jerks! <laughs>